Hey everyone, I'm just a freak and as you can see I got some packages to unbox I managed to gather 21 packages from Book Depository and of course that means another manga haul so yeah, let's get to it! So first, let's see what I have in this one I I don't know, I'm waiting for some, some series to come in since forever and hopefully some of them are uh, in these boxes and let's see and it looks like one of them it is and it's actually volume 1 so that means that I can start it so this is Sweet Blue Flowers um, this is a Yuri series uh, that was recommended to me by uh, Buzz he also has a YouTube channel and he recently uploaded his collection videos so feel free to check those out I'll leave a link in the description but yeah let's get to this so this is from Viz uh, a signature releases with French flaps I think these are two in ones and this is a Yuri series and he said that it's uh, it's quite beautiful and I uh, read a little bit of the synopsis and yeah I, I decided to pick it up I think it's only five omnibuses or something like that five or six anyway sweet blue flowers volume one omnibus volume one next let's see let's see let's see what do we have here and it looks like I have another volume from Mob Psycho. So this is volume 5. Hilarious series. So it also has an incredible anime adaptation. So feel free to check that out. It's on Crunchyroll. It's also out on Blu-ray and stuff like that. This is by one. The same guy that did... Um, that does actually because it's still ongoing. Uh, one Punch Man. So if you read that probably you're gonna like this. The only difference is that he's also drawing this one, so the mangaka does everything in One Punch Man, uh, another mangaka is uh, drawing, so the art is not that good, but even, even with uh, the art not being uh, at the same level of One Punch Man, I think that it adds to, um, to the, I don't know, to the uh, funny to the comical character uh, characteristic of uh, of this series so yeah from dark horse uh, mob psycho 100 volume 5 i'm usually i don't know pre-ordering those because it's dark horse and they don't keep stuff in print for too long so i don't know for how long we're gonna see it and it looks like i have the drifting classroom volume 2 Damn, I actually, when if you saw my last haul, I uh, got volume two, uh, three, and that's the last one. And I was absolutely sure that I already have this, so I have to look if they didn't send uh, a duplicate. But yeah, anyway, if I don't have it, that means that I'll have it all for uh, to read this month around Halloween. Because Bizarre Individual is uh, organizing a readathon, a freakathon. I'll leave a link to his video in the channel, into the description. But yeah, this is a horror series. It's um, an older series that recently got a reprint in these beautiful hardcovers. And I can't wait for Halloween to, to, to come so that I can uh, read it. Next one. Damn, this is kind of heavy and I recently hurt my, my hand and I cannot move my finger as I would, but... Oh, no. Damn, I ordered this for a long, long time and I only got it now. So, this is Ping Pong by Tayo Matsumoto. A lot of people are praising this series. It's a sport manga, so... Yeah, I have my third sports manga in my collection. Now I have Slam Dunk, I have Summit of the Gods, and I have Ping Pong. So yeah, by uh, Taiyo Matsumoto, the same guy that did uh, Tekon King, Green Cred, uh, Black and White. And damn, this, this book looks pretty nice. It doesn't have a hardcover, but the pages um, 
the the covers are i know if you have dementia 21 or something like that it it remembers it uh, it's similar to that in quality and it's a pretty pretty nice release and i can't can't wait to try it really can't wait to try it i still have to order volume 2 it recently got out and i missed the pre-order so i'm waiting for another i don't know sale on it but yeah pretty happy to have this finally i thought that they i don't know forgot it somewhere in in a deposit or something like that but yeah ping pong volume one there are only two uh, volumes in that series so yeah it's, it's not such a big commitment and everybody is praising it so it should be awesome next one looks like i have another volume from sweet blue flowers and this time i have volume four really really sweet uh, sweet covers i have really high hopes for for this series hope it doesn't disappoint next one a smaller package a lot of uh, i know a lot of omnibuses two in ones this whole so and yeah it looks like i have uh, volume 15 from ajin uh, yeah one volume closer to uh, to the end of the series one volume closer and one volume more for me to read uh, i recently uh, talked about this in my last haul when i got volume 14 and i asked you guys to help me identify if i can start reading it if it's in the middle of an arc i've read until volume 9 and uh, someone told me in the comments that uh, actually it's okay for me to read volume 10 but from volume 10 until 15 he read it and it's it's an arc it's not finished yet it's full of action and he recommended me not to go into it and yeah here's my favorite villain in manga mr sato oh my god I, I i love i love this guy i'm not gonna show you more because i don't want to spoil anything but yeah this is ajin from vertical volume 15. and next one let's see let's see let's see another volume from sweet blue flowers Damn, I hope that I have all of the volumes in this haul because I ordered the whole series since it's not that long. So yeah, this is volume 3. Let me see if I can show you some of the color pages. Pretty nice, pretty nice. It, it, it looks so good, I know, it, it looks cute and I heard only good things. And I, I have high expectation, as I said before, I keep repeating myself. Anyway, next I have Sekiro, a side story, uh, Hanbei the Undying. So this is a manga created after the game. So I think this is a side story from the game on PS4, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and yeah, I had to I had to order it when I found out that uh, it's it's out there that they're making it and I think I pre-ordered this so yeah it it took a while as you can see it's pretty violent if if you play the game you're gonna it's a Dark Souls like game where it actually created by the same guys by from software and yeah it's it's pretty bloody pretty gruesome and I can't wait to read it by the way that one is from me Press. if you were wondering now let's see what I have inside of this one and holy crap another volume from Sekiro so <laughs> damn so either book depository messed up and sent me two copies or I actually ordered two copies. I'm hoping for the first uh, for the first part first option. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna gift one of one of these 
same thing that I did with other duplicate copies that I received. Anyway, now I have two copies from Sekiro. It took a long for, for it to get to me, but I got two. Hopefully I didn't pay it for two. Next. Finally, 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 pleasure and corruption. So this is how the title sounds, how the back of the cover sounds. It's about s &M. It's uh, kind of similar to Flowers of Evil in a way, but it's, it's definitely not Flowers of Evil. And yeah, it's pretty etchy. It's a uh, psychological thriller, I might say. I'm, and the good dramas. So far, I really like the first volume. It's something that's not from everybody because it's pretty explicit and it's it evolves around sexual themes. So yeah, I can't wait to read this one. These are coming out so slow, maybe because the state of the world, but yeah let me find <laughs> let me actually find something that i can show you guys because yeah i i think i can show you this um, this color page and something regarding the art and yeah i i'm not gonna flip through it because i'm gonna find something that's not not okay for for youtube in any case so happy that I have that one. I'm going to read it right after this haul. Next one. It's... Kakegurui Twin. And this is volume 4. This is a spin-off from the main series Kakegurui that also has an anime. I saw the anime and I really like it. I plan also to get the manga for, for the main series. At some point but uh, yeah as I said in other holes I'm gonna pick up Kakeguri Twin first these are quite expensive since the press as you can see 15 US dollars but anyway Kakegurui is a pretty pretty uh, nice pretty awesome series regarding gambling and people that are psychotic when it comes to gambling and I've read a little bit of this spin-off and it's kind of of the same thing so yeah i want to see what happens and i'm gonna pick it up next one this is a really really small one in here quite quite light and uh, let's see let's see let's see and it looks like all of my boxes felt Anyway, it looks like another volume from Overlord and this is volume 5, as you know, I started picking up Overlord and also reading it. And yeah, this is again from Yan Press, but it, it's in a smaller format, so let me put it like this. So maybe this is like normal Viz volumes and this is like a Viz uh, signature volume. Overlord. Uh, source material for this from what I know it's the light novel but I'm gonna stick with the manga maybe the anime after I read the manga so far from what I've read it's a pretty pretty interesting series I like the art in it and yeah it's it's an isekai so guy actually gets transported into the game that he was playing but he's in, in this one he's the bad guy the overlord not sure about the bad guy part from what I read, but yeah, he's the overlord of the game and yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool and happy that I have it. I'm gonna pick all of these whenever I find them on sale. Next, 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 next. I hope that you can hear Batman snoring in the background. He does that for all of my videos. Tiny little bastard. And volume 2 from Sweet Blue Flowers. So I think I have 4 right now. Actually, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's awesome. Uh, quite, quite a nice uh, chapter art over there. As I said, Yuri series, highly recommended. Next one.
finally, finally, finally. So maybe this will be the second one that I'm gonna read. And this is again from Viz, it's a Viz signature. Sorry about the glare. Uh, this is King, the Kingdom of Gods and this is based on, I think, I don't think it's based on a comic, I think it's based on uh, on the TV series uh, that's you can see on Netflix. It's in, um, I don't know, China, but in uh, <laughs> a couple of hundred of years ago. And uh, it's with zombies and I really, really like the series. And when I saw that they are putting out a manga for it, I just grabbed it. I don't even know if this is manga since it's, I think it's done by the Chinese, but yeah. Let's see some art. Some art that's not, I know, too crazy. Yeah, this should, this should be okay. And let me find another, another spread. So, as I said, I'm a really big fan of, of the TV series. First, I started watching it because of their funny hats and I, I don't know, I was tired, a little bit drunk and I saw their hats in, a, in the trailer and I said, I want to watch this TV series to laugh about their hats. Uh, not trying to be disrespectful or anything, but yeah, I binged the whole series and of course I'm going to read the manga. And oh my god, this is just in time for Halloween, so for the, uh, I don't know, for the Freakathon, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna read this, for sure. And let's see what we have in this big one. I don't remember ordering something that requires such a big, a big packaging. So let's see what they sent me, hopefully. Ooh! Book 14 from The Walking Dead. So yeah, as you probably know, if you're watching this channel for a while, I'm uh, collecting The Walking Dead. This is a comic book. Uh, this, uh, may, maybe you're, if, if you're not familiar with the comic book, maybe you're familiar with uh, the TV series because that was one of the most popular dramas at some point. Looks like it's a little bit bent and dirty but yeah otherwise it looks good let me find some uh, okay pieces of art oh my god that was a decapitated head <laughs> so yeah this is how the art looks like believe me in the in uh, i think that this this should be okay i don't know it's it's not that big of a deal so yeah walking that by uh, kurtman uh, Awesome series, zombie apocalypse series, really good drama, a huge set of uh, big ass villains with incredible personalities, also a big cast of great characters in it, I really like it and slowly I'm gonna get all of these hardcover books because they look amazing and the quality in them is pretty amazing and I want to own all of these series at some point. Only a couple of more left to go. And let's see what I have here. Let's see, let's see. And I got volume 37 of Vagabond. So if you saw my collection video uh, where I showed all of my manga that I have, um, I have all of the Vagamond in the Visbigs editions. Those are until uh, those collect until volume 36. But since this is still an ongoing series, it's been in hiatus for since forever. Uh, yeah, they couldn't print another Visbig, so the only way to get volume 37, the last one that was out, it's uh, via this uh, this signature edition. And I ordered it since I started reading it. I'm in the middle of it right now. And I actually wanna wanna read whatever it's out there. And maybe after that, I'll pick up uh, the novel to 
to get the ending that way because I don't know if Takiko in a way will finish this series at some point. And yeah, the art is amazing. This is a pretty, pretty awesome series and I highly recommend it. Next one. And damn, I'm finishing another series. So this is Travaganza volume three. Uh, this is the last volume from the series. I think this is a 3-in-1 or something like that. I forgot to actually check because <laughs> I know that this series can be etchy. Anyway, this is a medieval etchy fighting series, uh, gruesome and stuff like that. And it's only 7 volumes, it, it's all of it It's contained in, in three, 3 omnibuses printed out by Udon. And yeah, they have French flaps. The art is pretty nice. Let me let me find you another another panel. And oh, this actually has some color pages in it. So yeah, I finally have it all. That means that I can start whenever I want to. I can start and read it and binge the whole thing. Next one. Damn, this is a pretty, pretty heavy one. Feels like a hardcover. And it actually is. Damn, my, my senses of unboxing manga are getting better and better. So this is uh, Carecaptor Sakura by Clamp, the collector's edition. Thank you Kodansha for putting out Clamp series uh, in editions like this and putting them in print again because most of the Clamp stuff was... Uh, on Dark Horse and out of print so hopefully I'm hoping for all of it to to get new releases like this a lot of them are uh, Chobits are, is getting a new release Sakura is getting a new release uh, Magical Knight Reart is getting a new release uh, I know Clover is getting a new release I'm hoping that we're gonna get them all at some point gotta catch them all gotta catch all clamp so I love this series. Every time I read a volume from this series, I just feel warm and cozy. <laughs> and yeah, because it, it's so cute. And each one of them comes with a clover card. Let's say it like this. And it's really high quality. It's the same quality that you see normally in, uh, in comic books. Uh, these are photo copy papers and nice hardcover, nice spine and as you can see the art is beautiful. Highly recommend this series if you want to read something related magical girls, something really cute, go, go with this one. Next one. This feels pretty, pretty light for for the size of it and another one from Yan Press and it looks like this it's Fruits, Bas uh, Fruits Basket uh, volume 12 Omnibus volume 12 from the collector's edition collector's edition is just something that uh, it's practically an omnibus and it comes with French flaps and uh, some color pages I don't know if the original edition had color pages in it anyway Fruits Basket Pretty nice, uh, pretty nice uh, series. I saw uh, part of the anime, not the whole anime, because I know some of it just came out recently, and I really liked it. So I decided to also pick up the the manga since it got a reprint. I'm almost done with it. I think I'm missing only one or two volumes to to have it all. So Fruit Basket Volume Twelve. Next, let's see what do we have here and it looks like this is Sayuki. This is Sayuki Resurrected Edition. It's Resurrected Edition because this is an older series and they decided to do a reprint of it. So yeah. 
pretty happy that they did. Uh, this is a shonen. I don't know if it's seinen. I can't remember actually. It's about the monk going through the world, fighting, <laughs> uh, fighting stuff. I think he's trying to prevent some. I don't remember correctly. I I think that. Practically, there is a balance between spirits and uh, humans, and these monks are kind of the peacekeepers of that balance. Anyway, uh, pretty happy that they uh, decided to print it, because I'll be able to read it and see uh, and experience it. And it's a pretty, pretty nice release. It's in hardcover. And let me show you more of the art. As you can see, it got it has pretty pretty nice art. Even if it's an older series, I think that this is one of those that are not that I know aged better than others. And the last one, let's see what we have here. The last package of the haul. And it's volume 10 from Fruits Basket. So even I have it all right now, but I don't think so because one of the volumes were out of print, out of stock actually when I ordered this one. So yeah, this is volume 10, a little bit dusty from what I see. This is volume 10 by Ann Press. Oh my God. This one is a little bit messed up. And I think that I have to request uh, another another volume I'll see if I can fix it or not but yeah have volume 10 even if it's damaged I'll see if I can fix it if not I'll ask for a refund or another copy and yeah guys this was my haul uh, my haul for the month of October yeah I think we're in October and yeah I got a lot of volumes Actually, I also got some volumes that are suited for uh, for October and that I can read in the Manga Freakathon that's happening at the end of the month. I really hope that you liked it. I hope that you, you enjoyed the haul. And yeah, if you did, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And I know if you want to see more, um, I have a ton of playlists, as I said, I also have a manga collection video. It's gonna be all down in the channel's description, not channel description, in the video description. If you want to help me with anything, uh, without, I don't know, giving anything, just clicking a link before you order something from Book Deposit or Wordery, I'm gonna have affiliate links in uh, the channel description, video description. So that's everywhere. And yeah, really hope that you like this one. I'm really happy with uh, the series that I managed to get in this haul. And I can't wait to read them all. And yeah, see you in my next video. And until then, go read your manga. Bye bye.